told me they were wizards, but they slit your gizzards too. They plundered arcane mysteries and all their foes did wail. Beware lest ye encounter a mighty mage of sail. Bonjour, it is I, Patrick McNamara of Dog Food Studios, your best friend, and the only person who truly understands you. I'm gathered here today to play Mage of Sail, a swashbuckling game of magic and mystery based on Mage the Ascension, but only based on. So if I get any rules wrong, no I didn't. <laughs> I'm joined by my friends, Holly Conrad, Tabitha Sheen, and Dame Allen. Oh, that was easy. That was easy. I think yeah. I, sh I think it's good that I've started doing these shorter intros. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get 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 over with. Yeah, get, get over with. It. Just get it out of the way. Uh, and I don't have to write as many jokes. Yeah, but All also right. like this little interlude where we talk Rebels. about things is also kind of good. Like yeah. it's cold out. Like I kind of yeah. like people to see behind the curtain. Yeah, yeah. it's cold yeah. as fuck. That's yeah. what's behind yeah. the curtain today. Yeah, yeah. wearing a turtleneck. Really. Yeah, That's why we're all everyone's wearing, wearing a turtleneck except it's me. Because you didn't have to leave your. You didn't have to leave the house. This is twenty-one degrees. Nope, that's not a fact. It's, um, it's a lie. When last we saw our brave heroes, mm -hmm. they were aboard the Bastard Crusher, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the ship of one Captain Dredd. And they were involved in a standoff. Yep. Now, Saoirse has Captain Dredd has a knife to her throat. Knife to the neck. And uh, a bastard with a gun is pointing his gun at Aura Edmonston. And he's just been given the order to fire. And he's napping. Wilhelm and is asleep. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been such a long day. <laughs> like, it's like, fake it till you make it, and I yeah. made it in like 30 seconds. Yeah. Can I use forces to make him drop his gun? Uh, you could, yeah. Um, but here's the thing. You would probably have to stop doing what you're doing. Right. So your right. your focus skill for forces is awareness, which is pretty broad, and we, we normally figure this out as like awareness being some kind of meditation mm -hmm. or act of concentration. Mm-hmm. You're not going to be able to do that and keep a quite capable combatant. Uh, yeah. From to, however, Aura, your focus skill is firearms, mm -hmm. and you do have your gun out, so yeah. you you have that available if you want to. Yeah, do I would. I would love to shoot that gun out of his hand. Okay. Damn. Damn. So I'm, I'm really good at it. Yes. Like, so I'm going to call that. Uh, this is now a contested roll. You're both going to fire. Okay. This that is, is pirate shit. Yeah. It's composure plus firearms. Okay. Because you're not quick drawing, which would right. be dexterity. If they both crit, um, if they both crit to the bullets hit each other, yeah. Whoa. potentially that'd be pretty. Sick. Then we have a time cop situation. That'd be pretty sick. So you're just gonna it. mundanely shoot him before he shoots you. I'm gonna shoot the gun out of his hand. Like so, I that's gonna like... require a lot of successes. Yeah. Okay. So let's yeah. just yes, go okay. for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm ready to go. Like I'm, I yeah, I want to look cool. Okay. Two successes. That's two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see how many you get. I can re-roll too. I'm yeah, okay. you can. All, you can spend a willpower yeah. to re-roll. What did, did you get anything extra? Oh, no. no. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it now. Okay, I got two successes and then One so three success. successes. Three successes. Yeah. Okay. So you both fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Roughly at the same time. Uh, however, you keep your cool just a little bit better. Yes. Um, and you hit him, but you, you don't hit the gun out of his hand. Right? Oh, well. No, that, that's, that's, sorry. That's, that's very <laughs> difficult to do. But you do, you hit his shoulder. Okay. And he drops his rifle. Good. And he looks like genuinely hurt. Yes, I'm. D don't yeah. shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. And Captain Dredd goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that was kind of a big part of her plan. Yes. Him well, winning that engagement. I'm now reloading my rifle and pointing it at her. Do you have okay, a pistol so he, or a rifle? A pistol. My pistol. Yeah, Can I roll to see if I woke up? Yes, you definitely woke up. Because a gun, two guns went off. Liga is still asleep. I just wanted to roll for it. Yeah, you want to roll for it? Okay, for waking so up. Let me see what... Because I'm really tired, right? Yeah, what would roll for that be? That would be resolve plus stamina. Okay. Because you're like, something's going on, but I don't want to get up. Exactly. Resolve plus stamina. I think we've all Okay, okay. Up. Just want to see. Uh, yeah, four, I wake up. Four, yeah, you wake up. I was going to say, you could okay. have sleep paralysis. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Yeah, it is. I know. I'm familiar. You wake up, Liga doesn't. That's, good. That's I mean, better. Good. Yeah. She's insulated. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you realize that it's because you had you had the baby Bjorn in such a way that it's covering her ears. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, would you like to take any kind of action? I started has... start awake after the shots have been fired, mm -hmm. which which looks like or loading a gun and guy 
getting yeah. in the arm. Mm-hmm. And then I have a knife to and you have a knife to Dred's throat. And I think it's just one of those like you woke up suddenly, but you don't know actually what's happening, and you're kind of half in a dream to where I just put both my hands on the ground, like sturdy and look around. <laughs> That's it. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm still awake. So because we had a very interesting experience. Right before. It could, this before. could not be real. Yeah. This could oh, yeah. be yeah. fake. Fair. That's fair. Sasha, uh, Captain Dredd on her turn is going to try and break away from you. Oh. Uh, she's going to do a strength plus brawl a- against you. You can resist <laughs> that however you want. Traditionally, Forces. if you just want to wrist it, resist it normally, you would use strength plus brawl against her. But That's if you one want one dice. Yeah. You want to do a uh, you want to do an effect? I want to do forces. Okay. Or can I do like a mind force to be like you don't want to do that. I mean, you have a lot of different options, but like at this point, she's she's almost certainly going to attack you unless you do. You would be a level three mind effect to get her to stop. I do have. But a she, level she's three. going like she's going to try and get get out. What what she does to you next is is kind of not yet known. So you could use forces to try and incapacitate her in some way. Mm-hmm. You could use mind to tell her, you know, to don't fight back or something like that. But that would be fairly difficult because, mm-hmm. um, you know, she super doesn't want to. Mm-hmm. I'll just u- use forces to just dead fast. Okay. So go ahead and roll that. Four successes. Four successes? Oh, yeah, you fucking... You do it. <coughs> so she gets out of your grasp. Um, and as she turns, it looks like she's going to attack you. And you constantly you do exactly the right kind of concentration. You, you move your mind into the place it needs to be. Mm-hmm. And you just stop her. Mm-hmm. And she cannot move. Mm-hmm. And then she just goes... What the fuck is happening? <laughs> What's happening is you're going to cool out. Because there's no reason for us to be fighting. We both have the same goal. To get the ship and get Nigel. Mm -hmm. We just don't want you to immediately murderize him. I know it's very hard not to want to murderize him. I've wanted to murderize him (laughs) since I've met him. We're just asking you to be cool. And let's just see where this goes. And we can be friends. Or frenemies, whatever you want to call it. My best men. The Mm -hmm. dread bastards. Mm-hmm. If I call, they will be here within a minute. No, they're probably asleep. That's cool, but you might be dead before they get here. If you can want to continue this, that I don't want to continue. We got a teenager over here with a pistol. I'm very good at it. <laughs> One of your dudes all is shot already. Yeah. That didn't work out for you. We're in here with you. Why don't very you? Well. It's okay. No one's losing here. We're both winning because we're going to work together and we're going to get our goal. You hear from outside, someone go, Captain, are you all right? The door's still closed. I just look at her like... And she says, everything's fine. See? That's not hard. Believe me, I really don't like Nigel. I mean, I definitely don't think he'd be a good partner. Like, ew. Right. (laughs) Well, then... My crew are incapacitated. That's fine. You will have to help. Yeah. Crew man the ship. Yeah. Is there anything we could do to wake them up? I can't. Remember. Uh, not really. No. Mm-hmm. Like they mm-hmm. essentially what happened was they were given a very powerful drug. Yeah. You could heal them, but you'd have to heal them like one by one. Mm-hmm. Oh god. They'll have a nice sleep. They'll be refreshed. Yeah. Yeah. We but- would like to sleep actually, for, at least for like a couple of hours. <laughs> While the ship is adrift. Oh, we can't sleep. Can, is there any way that I could maybe get some spirits to help this situation? Yeah, absolutely. What, would, <laughs> what, would you, what kind of spirit would you like to contact? Uh, okay. Is there any uh, sea creatures, like dolphins, maybe? So here's the thing. You can summon anything. Okay. There isn't a, there aren't, wouldn't be like the spirits of dolphins nearby because those are water oh, spirits. Oh, the seagulls. They, there. they owe us, don't they? You are square with the seagulls. Oh, we're square right. with the seagulls. Okay. Good. Uh, but you could definitely call the spirit of the seagulls. Because we have a rapport. Like, we yeah, have a rapport. Could you do I like remember a, how to do his voice. Like yeah. a Fantasia situation? <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna call I'm gonna call the spirit of the seagull. Okay. Um, and I'm just gonna say, hold on a minute. And is there like a, a dressing like Yes, there's a, like a dressing area. You just yeah. gonna go behind them. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. So 
So you go behind there, you get a bunch of fucking candles, like cult shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, just give me a minute. Give me a moment. This is, she does this. Just give me a moment. Yeah. Just give me a moment. Just give me a moment. She really is an adult. Yeah. So how many successes did you get on that forces roll? Four. How many paradox did you have? None. None? Okay, you're, you're good for a little while. So, oh, yeah, she's yeah. frozen right yeah. now. Okay. Um, so you're essentially just like using gravity to hold her in place. Yeah. Um, but at some point, you're going to have to roll that again because she's going to try and get out. You should take um, her gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So you, yeah. Take, you take I'll her take gun. her gun. and She still has a cutlass. You can take that too. Yeah, I'm going to de-weaponize her. Okay. Check the ankle. Check the, <laughs> check the boot. She, you check I'm the like, boot. She does indeed have a boot. Yeah, I'm like nice. patting she's down a everywhere. She's <laughs> yeah. a professional pirate. Yeah, I'm like, she knows what to do. And I say, like, so... Are we going to be adults or am I going to have to tie you up? Because I don't want to have to tie you up. Because we're not trying to, like, yuck your yum or anything. We're just trying to not die. We can be adults. Can I trust you? I'm a pirate. I mean, the no. That's yeah, a no. That's then. Not, yeah. <laughs> Why would I trust you? Because I haven't killed you yet. That's a fair point. <laughs> that's a good point. I could have killed you. I could kill you right now. But I don't want to. You sure know how to make friends. I mean, we could you... end this in French. <laughs> I don't know. So she says, if you release me, I will not call my men. I will not kill you. Do you pinky swear? Do you pinky swear? You can't move. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she kind of does this. <laughs> yeah, I touch her pinky. <laughs> She's able to like resist your effect. And did you let it go? She did pinky swear. Well, how are, are you awake? I'm awake, yeah. I'm, I'm watching good? the situation. Okay, yeah. so I, I, I'm like, okay, cool. And I release. Okay. And her men are just outside. Okay. You can you can kind of hear them there. Like they're, they, they're holding off because the captain right. has told them to. But you hear again, just like, everything all right? I look at her like, right? She says, back to your stations. And they go, aye, aye, Captain. And you hear them go away. And she goes, See? I will warn you, the dread bastards are not to be trifled with. Why can't they run the ship? Because running a ship of this size takes more than four people. Would they be opposed to maybe some help in a less than conventional nature? I say behind the curtain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Explain. And you're just setting shit off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just some so. friends of mine that live uh, beyond the veil. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and do your roll. <laughs> now, the spirit of Seagull is not an especially lofty spirit, and you're at yeah. sea, which is a, a sort of spiritually active place. Right. So. Pretty sure it's six, right? Yeah, it's six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, three, three successes. Three successes. Mm -hmm. That's. So here's the th here is the question: Are you just bringing this? You're just bringing the you are you bringing the spirit of the seagulls into the world, or are you just bringing it to where you can see it? Uh, I want to talk to them, yeah, just okay. to where I can see it. So no one else is going to be able to see it, be yeah. Um, but yes, you 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 kind of do this pattern, and you you do a little salt circle for it to come into, and indeed the spirit of seagulls comes into the world with a great. Kakra! Mm, mm, excuse me, Kakra! Oh! Aura Edmondson. Oh, hello again! Oh, it's a pleasure to see you. How are you doing? Oh, we've been uh, excellent. We're, we're a bit. I, I might need to ask for your help again, though, if you're not busy. Oh, Kakra! Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> we are a bit of a drift floating at I sea. See. Um, we could use your help to get back on course. Our crew is asleep. It was our fault. It's a long story. Hey, how would, how would you have me help you? Uh, we just need some, some wind in a certain direction. So if you could maybe get some of your, your friends to maybe flappy flap towards our sails to get us back on track. May I make a suggestion? Uh, yes. Perhaps the spirit of the wind could help. Oh, the, the, they're big and scary, though. I mean, I guess I could ask them. I, yeah, I, I don't know if the physicality of a seagull is able to... That's fair. I just trust you more. We're on the same level. Well, you know, I, I know the spirit of the wind. Perhaps I Maybe could... put in a good word for put me? Put in a good word for you. You know, if, <laughs> if, you, if you want to summon them up, I'd happily hang around. Oh, okay. You can use all the same stuff. Oh, all right, all right. Um, Yeah, I'll, I'll do that if you don't mind just sitting here and just vouch oh. for me that I deliver on my... 
Good crawl. <laughs> um, <clears throat> chat, I'm with you. I'm very interested to hear the voice Patrick is going to use mm. for the voice <laughs> of the wind. That's it. <laughs> um, all right. Well, well, one second, I say, and I'll uh, try and uh, summon the spirit of the wind, which I feel like is a lot scarier. That's a little Eagle. bit of a bigger one. I yeah. would say that you're going to need. Uh, yeah. You're going to need either two successes above margin. Okay. Which would make it a. Uh, which would make it a. You need five successes. Okay. Um, or you can add two paradox die. Uh, there we go. Or a yeah. combination of both. You also have the option to spend quintessence to make it okay. easier. Well, I'll add the paradox die. Okay. And then, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? And uh, yeah, I'm like, oh, hold on. Uh, three you got a crit, yeah, yeah. Well, not on paradox. No, and I got a regular crit. Yeah, you got well, a regular, yeah. Yeah. Plus so then regular crit and plus one. So it's five so successes. Five. Did you get a uh, crit on any paradox? Die? No. No. Okay. So you don't. Ha ha. <laughs> five, five success. Yeah. Yeah. I wow. did it. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, this is pretty big magic. You're quite proud of yourself as you bring my yeah, <laughs> behind this curtain, like, who needs yeah. <laughs> Well, everyone kind of knows what you're doing because the wind picks yeah. up to such a degree, just in the room, stuff starts flying everywhere. I imagine it like the hut in Sleeping Beauty where the fairies are fighting each other and you just see like lights. Oh yeah. Puffs. Yeah. It's happening behind the curtain. <laughs> yeah. And you hear this kind of susurration around you. You don't really see the spirit of the wind, but you feel it and you hear this this voice on the wind say Good day. Oh hello, great spirit of the wind. I'm here with a uh, friend Spirit of the Seagull. I'm here to ask a bit of a favor if you're not busy. What would you speak of me? Uh hey? we my crew happens to have fallen asleep. Uh my fault. Uh, oh, shit. I know. It, yeah, it's really bad. But uh, I, I'm asking if you could maybe get us back on course. We're trying to catch my stolen ship, which is, you know, a bit of a bad problem. Like Our ship was stolen by one of our crewmates, which none of us are happy about. And we would love to be able to catch up to it so we could get our ship back. I would ask if you were service. Uh, of course, I, I accept that. Uh, what service would you like? You will owe the wind a boon. Oh. All right. And we will collect at a later date. <laughs> Uh, uh, very well. And I peek around the curtain. I go, don't worry, we're back on track so we can take a nap. I did all this so we could take a nap. <laughs> go back. You'll take a compass and you will point it in whichever way you wish the wind to blow. And we will bring you to your ship or at Edmonston. Thank you. This will be a great boon that the wind will ask of you. Very well. Um, also, Seagull is here. Would you like to say hi? Oh, hi, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> the Seagull goes, Good crawl. Is uh, everyone's name Steve? My parrot's <laughs> name is Steven. Oh, hi, Steven. Oh, my God. And All Steven right. goes, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Good crawl. <laughs> uh, yes. These spirits are insufferable, you hear from like behind the thing. Yeah, there's just a curtain, like you're just yelling. <laughs> Talking to my it's, it it's a one sided conversation. Yes, yes Steven, Steven. It's a very common name. <laughs> and the wind goes, Yeah, I know loads of Steves. <sighs> Uh, very well. Wynn, thank you so much for your kindness and generosity. I will be happy to give you the boon when you ask for it. Need I warn you that peril awaits sailors who betray the wind? I would never betray, betray you, great spirit. Oh, good. I didn't think so, but it was worth bringing up. No, right? thank you. I love a threat. That's always, you know, keeps me in my place as a wizard. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. Well, uh, I'll, uh, You'll see me. I'll yeah. be. I'll be the wind. You know. Yeah. And then farewell, seagull. Feel free to go with the yeah. wind. I'm gonna go tell the crew. All right. All right. Uh, Bonza. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, uh, all right. Thanks for your farewell. Goodbye. And it's like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just kind of like disappears yeah. out of the porthole. Okay. All right. All done. You hear from behind the curtain. Um, and Captain Dress says. Could someone explain to me what the fuck is going on, please? Oh, I'll I'll walk up to him and go, well, since we're in such close proximities, and I can I, like, usher the injured man outside? Yeah, absolutely. He's just throwing the gun. And you should go get that looked at. Um, so he actually, yeah, he, he leaves his gun where he is, and he, he, good. he leaves. Um, so, Captain Dredd, I was speaking to the spirit of the wind. Um, I have this compass. Do you no know which deal. direction Nigel is going? Do you have any idea which way the ship is? 
now? Yes. I have no idea. I've been under deck too long. We should, we could follow his course, but you'll you'll need a way to find him. I got this. All right. <laughs> I, I have a compass that can direct the wind, the actual wind in the sail. Just give me that compass. We'll that will see. take us. I don't know if that. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if I use it or not. Here, Wilhelm, take it. So. Yeah. I, well, so it, the compass. It will make the wind go in whatever direction we face the ship. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you need to know the direction. Yeah. 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 And then so you will just this turn compass north on the compass. Already yeah. has its. Yeah. It's, magical it's, property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The spirit yeah. is. You uh, just have to move the arrow. It, yeah. yeah. Okay. To the direction you want to go. Okay. So you, what you need to know is. Where, Where is Nigel? Is. Yeah. Yeah. Or and the that's, ship. That's something that I've done previously, but it, it was is. when I was in a different place. Yeah. Do you want to try it again? Yeah, I want to try it again. And I want to try to like... Do you want to go behind the curtain? <laughs> <laughs> the magic curtain? <laughs> sure. And I'll clear my throat. Now. <laughs> uh, we trade out. Um... Okay. I love uh, that she's. We're just confused. She's come back out Are y'all embarrassed of your magic? No, like, it, it's it's vulgar. It's if a we little do it easier. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. It's true. That's true. It's easier when no one's watching. That's exactly. True, that's true. You can get a little shy. Yeah. Um, so card. I want to. I want you to think about this as a background process on a computer. Okay. I want to passively kind of keep a. I know where it's at. Okay. And I feel where it's at. Yeah. I want to just be able to like. All right. This way. Right. Okay. So yeah, you can you can do that by establishing a. Uh, let me see what that. Is. That's correspondence sense again. So yeah. You, uh, you're is it still a sense or is it? Uh, that's still sense? a sense. Yeah. yeah. That, I, I would say that you're sensing where it is. Okay. Um, you're not moving anything, or you could also do it with co-locality perceptions, where you could look at where you could kind of look at it where it is and still concentrate on what you're doing. It's a little bit harder. It's a little bit cooler. Mm -hmm. The correspondent sense will get the job done if you just want to know where the ship yeah, is. Yeah, I, I just want to um, feel pulled in that direction so I can so point my body in that area. Six dice. You have two paradox. I do have two paradox. That'll, that'll cover it. That'll be interesting. One. <laughs> You got one success. I got one success. Would you? So one success. I don't even know if you could succeed at a cost. Would you like to Will roll the willpower? Yeah. Um, only because I know we're about to get a sweet, sweet nap. Hopefully. All right. That's a oh, reroll up to three, correct? Yeah, reroll up to three. Two. Yeah. Two successes. Okay. You can succeed at a cost. Um, you will not immediately know what the cost is. <laughs> of course. You can just shit yourself. Yeah. Oh. Just shit myself. Or you can shit no! yourself. No! <laughs> not again. Well, I already smell. Yeah. I mean, it's getting better, but it's I'm true. not Yeah, no, so not great. Yeah, you can you can keep rolling re-rolling die with willpower if you want or you can you can succeed at it. This is one of the like points where it's like I'm aware of the game. Yeah. Of like I'm about to sleep. I'm going to spend on my willpower, yeah. right? Which is uh which is uh unfortunate. So, uh I'll do one more. Yeah, go for it. So you, right, you can't so reroll got... Paradox die. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. any others. I mean, it's um, like casual metagaming, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah it's, it's okay. I don't think we'll get complaints. No. Okay, so... And if you have one, one, of, these, one of these... That's yeah, fine. Yeah. Uh, which I think means I have one left to roll if mm -hmm. I can't roll Paradox. Mm -hmm. I had a success, success, and a crit. Okay. Or wait, was it two? Or you one? had two successes. Okay, okay, uh -huh. so I can reroll two. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I had a success and a crit, so I just mm -hmm. want to reroll the non... <laughs> No. Well, actually, he got a fail, or like a skull. As he goes, Kelly. Um, I have so, yeah. theory one more. Yeah, yeah you, I don't know if you do it. So if you spend your last willpower point, you are at that point you are washed. Like yeah. that, you'll take a dice penalty to everything you do if you yeah. lose that last point. It's probably not worth that. No. Just in case we don't get to you go can to bed from succeed at some the cost. terrible reason. Yeah, we'll take the cost. It's so close, but we'll take the okay, cost. Okay, so I want to go to bed so bad again. You sense. Is that Dable will help me? <laughs> <laughs> Both. You set, so you sense where the ship is. You know the direction of it. You are aware of where it is. You're also aware that maybe this meditation wasn't your best work. You are so <laughs> fucking tired. Yeah. I realize that uh, my gains have been dropped ever since I quit getting eight hours of sleep a night. Yeah, absolutely. You understand. So you got to rebuild. Like, who knows what this is going to do to your exercise schedule, right? Sure, because sure. And I'm already emaciated. All, yeah, you're going to wake up tomorrow feeling like shit. You're not going to want to do, like, a thousand press-ups, whatever the fuck Wilhelm does every day. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a Sunday morning. Go so, ahead. yeah, but you you are now aware of where it is. And as you you get that sense of it and you face in that direction. Mm -hmm. And so the compass, ideally, would just point north. And what this compass is now doing is just move, the north point is just moving wherever you put it. And you feel the wind 
begin to howl. And it is clearly driving you towards the location that you are pointing it in. Okay. So now can we nap? Uh, <laughs> so you could. Um, so you have a couple of things that you could you could potentially take care of. Mm-hmm. Um, all of your cult are still in the lifeboat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's um, been a while. And Cap- yeah. Captain Dredd says, what happens now? Uh, so w- we have some help that has been hanging out in a boat next to your boat, like a little baby boat. You brought more people on board my ship. They're not on board the ship the yet. Help! But they're not on the board. The sh- they're not on board. And then where are they? I just literally said they're in a boat they're next skitching. to your boat. That's on, that's, that, that counts as on a boat. That's a tertiary boat. That boat is part of this boat. Well, they're not physically on your boat because we wanted to ask your permission. So is it cool if we bring them yes, on board? It's, it's okay. Because they could be help. They could help us and you. I've left and I have found her bed and I'm asleep in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. You've just gone to sleep yeah. in her bed. And okay. just like, so does Being this a affect... Being form is very spicy. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, is like, is the, does this affect of our costumes? Does it just wear off every uh, it will. Ever? It will eventually yeah. wear off. Should yeah. I let... I, I should probably warn uh, Captain Dredd that that might happen. Yeah. So also, we're in disguise right now. And I just want to let you know, we might look completely different. At any time. I don't know when it's going to wear off because it's not our magic. It's the toddler's magic. It's the toddler's magic. Yeah. But I'm asleep. You can't hear me. I want to uh, look at Captain Dredd and give a flex, but since I'm emaciated, it's just like the wiry. Yeah. Just... <laughs> yeah. So usually this guy is like huge. I don't look anything like this. That's not a teenager, and the baby's not a baby. Please get out of my cave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in her. I'm not leaving. I'm asleep. <laughs> You have to drag me. Take your little yeah. friend. All right. And your baby that is not a baby that is enormously muscular. All right. <laughs> As you can see, it's not real. It can't be real. This is not a real baby. Baby is shredded. <laughs> it is. It's like mm-hmm. Julian salad. <laughs> That's insane. Get out of my cat. I... I... Am I strong enough to sling her oh, yeah, as a teenager yeah, you, yeah, over? You, you, you I can, like you, sling you, you over. <laughs> Mother, no! <laughs> I don't want you to get up. Uh, Wilhelm wants to walk out, She's but like, and like looking down oh, at, the, at the compass, yeah. like it's a phone. Yeah, like, just like ambling through, looking down. Because if you like turn around without thinking, yeah, exactly, all of the wind changes. <laughs> the direction. Can you just put your thumb on the arrow though and hold it in one direction? It doesn't work like that. No, no. The th- it moves me. It moves my thumb. Yeah. Oh. It's uh <laughs> So what do you want where do you guys want to head? You wanna head on uh Well I'll go Wait, Did you give her her weapons back or do you know? Still... <laughs> you still have the weapon. Yeah. She's gotta have more weapons. Yeah, I mean she's I'm sure more weapons on. Here's the thing I will say that you you guys are relying on is the fact that if you all go to sleep Oh yeah Captain they're... Dredd's not gonna fuck with yeah, you. Yeah, so and I don't know if that's a fair assumption. We can't all go to sleep. Can I make an impression on her mind to leave us alone? Yes. I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and, and roll. I'm Herkin and Durkin. It's just dumb asleep. <laughs> Ugh, one wow. success. This yeah, is not great. Okay, one. can I? You can use spend okay. a willpower if you want. I'm going to do a willpower because I've got three, or I have three left. So now I have two left. I can't re-roll Scullies. You can re-roll I re- I You can re-roll. can't re-roll Paradox. No. And yeah. I can roll up three. to three. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to remove all the ones I'm not rolling so they don't interfere. Two more. Four. Two more successes. Yeah. You barely reach out with your mind and, to, and just tell I'm her, like, leave us alone. Just, just leave and us she, alone. And she, gets, she wants to do that so bad. <laughs> Good. Uh, she gets into a, her cabin. You hear the door being bolted. <laughs> um, and there is just, there is simply silence. Okay. Oh my God, I think she's crying. This is sad. <laughs> you just hear <laughs> no, no. No, she's fine. No. She's all right. You don't. You don't hear. Her you just like. Okay. It seems more like exhaustion than no. anything else. Yeah. I mean, that was a lot for someone who doesn't know what the hell we are. Yeah, I'm asleep, so it's okay. I mean, I did wake up to on your shoulder go. I think she's crying and fall back asleep. Well, that's fine. You see, as you leave, like the man that you shot is still like he's nearby. Mm. He's holding his shoulder and saying, "Who the fuck are you, people?" Who are that's. You? 
I'm asleep. That's a loaded question. Uh, we're the captains of what's our Nexus? The Nexus, the, the Nexus Spear, and you should do well to remember that. Very That's well. Don't he forget. kind of he kind of heads off. You should get that looked at. Yeah, he's, he's gang green is a thing. And try, and, try and find it, get that yeah. looked at. Thank, unfortunately, the ship surgeon is <laughs> asleep. Great. Yeah, so oh, who knows what's gonna happen? So we'll see him like a, in the he time shouldn't have tried to shoot my daughter. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Mommy. Yeah, you, I, uh, yeah. Wilhelm would like to um, uh, wander to the crow's nest. Okay. And we'll sit in the crow's nest, looking at the compass, mm -hmm. lean against the pole. Oh yeah. Okay. And get comfortable. Okay. Awesome. Um, you uh, so you head up to the crow's nest. Are you guys going to head to the uh, to the skiff and bring your people? Yeah, I tell I yell down and be like, you know, hey, y'all can come up now. <laughs> and you hear, oh. Uh, that actually, that happens up there. What? You have to bring Oh, the... yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We're the captain. We don't normally do this, so... Uh, yeah, I'm uh, sorry. I guess you're kind of slumming it. Yeah. So, we bring him up. Okay, so or you bring, bring him up. Because you're dead on my shoulder. And... Yeah. I know. I'm, I assume that I'm back in the, like, cook's quarters in a hammock at this yeah. point. Yeah. Is that where you've gone? Yeah. yeah. You're just sleeping in a hammock in the cook's corner. Yeah. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Owen and Neve and Kazimiris and Laumina mm -hmm. uh, come out of the boat. Mm-hmm. And uh, Casimir doesn't allow me to speak English. Oh. Um, so Casimir just says, Liga. Oops. Sleep. She. You can point to the crow's nest where I am. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, safe? Yeah. And you see a thumbs up. And Owen and Neve say, So, uh, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, we're not dying. Oh, we're not being murdered. Okay. Um, we're we just need to find a uh, suitable quarters for me, I mm. guess, because everybody else seems to be settled. And you just keep watch over us and help when needed. Uh, understood. Is there any way that like we could get some sleep or or? Oh, y'all haven't slept. Oh, um, yeah, I guess you should sleep. Uh, well, I mean, we can keep watch, or, uh, well, like... No, that's okay, you, you sleep, you sleep. You've been in, in that little bitty boat, you've probably vomited a million times on the boat, like, uh, yeah. it's fine. Where, where, where should we go? Uh, do I we have a room, or... I look around, like, there doesn't seem to be any crew on board this ship. They're all asleep. Um, that sounds nice. Yeah, um, I would say, just go to the cook's area. That sounds like a good, yeah. solid place. Sure. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Liga, uh, not Liga. Um, why can't I remember your character's name right now? Aura. Aura. Aura, <laughs> Aura is there, so she, you know. Okay. So she they, looks like a teenager. They head off. So Wilhelm, you're now in the crow's nest. Um, Sisha, you're the only person awake. Yes. Would you like to go and find somewhere to sleep? Is there some out? kind of a proximity alarm I can use? Uh, th not with the magic you have, no. You could lock yourselves in, is about the best you could really do. I'll just lock us in. I guess I'll go back to the chef's area as well okay. and lock myself in. Well, well I'm just going to sleep on the couch. <laughs> yeah, just sleep well, with that's kind of dangerous. With this, like, compass just... Yeah, like, if you just... Yeah. Can I pay I a little don't. bit of attention? All right. So, you manage to drift off. To a, a reasonably, slightly tenuous, perhaps sleep, but you are incredibly fucking tired. Mm -hmm. So everyone gets back the greater of their composure or resolve mm -hmm. um, in willpower. Okay. What uh, about health? It's been a while since that one got erased. I didn't realize I had one. <laughs> yeah, you got. To, no, yeah, you're 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 pretty fucked up. Yeah. Um, oh damn. You're yeah. not going to get any health back just yet. Damn. That's those take a little bit longer to heal, right. especially if you're not really rested. So I get not if I get one more hit. And, at me, I'm gonna be knocked out. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, just don't get hit. All <laughs> oh my god! I'll matrix it. I'll um, dodge everything. So yeah, you do manage to get some sleep, and uh, Captain Dread does not interfere with you in any way. That's good. Uh, you you all just like wake up relatively refreshed. Good. But you wake up to a hammering on the door of the of the galley. Mm-hmm. Am I still a teenager? Uh, you actually wake up in your normal. Form. Ugh! Good. I don't have to deal with that anymore. I was so angry. <laughs> Why? Hormones, am I right? And you hear, uh, it looks like Liga has also re-leaguered. Oh, good. But it's still asleep. What? 
Uh, attached to my Bjorn. Attached to your Bjorn. Yeah, they're just okay. it's an old we're lady both, Bjorn kinda, now. Both, I'm leaning very far forward because yeah. now it's like... <laughs> 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 and uh, you have returned to your large self. Okay. Uh, and you are no longer a, uh, a cherubic baker woman. Okay. You hear the um, wood in the crow's nest kind of creak. Yeah. As Uh-oh. all of a sudden mass increases. <laughs> it's... Two, um, two, po- two people. Uh... In the galley, you hear a knock at the door. Mm. And uh, it sounds like Captain Dredd, and she says, We approach the Nexus Spear. Oh! Yeah. All hands on deck. I sit straight up. I, can I open the... I'm going to open the door. Like, oh, good morning. Did you have coffee yet? Do you want some? She looks at you and just turns turns and walks away. I like, think you need to love yourself. <laughs> so she walks away. Uh, I hope gonna, she hates me. Are you going to follow her up to the deck? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not dressed. I have to get dressed first. Sure. Um, mm-hmm. So you go ahead and get dressed if you, yeah. if you want to. Put on my hat, my jaunty hat, yeah, my staff. Yeah, you're looking very much more piratical. Good. Yeah, I walk Thank- out. Thankfully, you look relatively similar to how you looked before, just older. So it's a little yeah. easy for Captain Dredd to get her head around. It's fair. I look completely different. Yeah, you look like a different person. But thankfully, she was kind of pre-warned that that yes. was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you're already on the deck, essentially, because you're in the crow's nest. Are you going to follow her up? Yeah, I, uh, I'll i f- fix my, you know, like, smooth out my clothes or whatever and probably change clothes because I don't know if the clothes I was wearing, like, even fits the form I am now. So, yeah. You get on the deck, you see that, again, most of the crew is still asleep, but the Dread Bastards, her, mm-hmm. uh, her, her private guard, mm-hmm. are awake, looking lively, and watching you very, very intently. Okay. Um, there's about uh, four of them. Okay. And you can see off in the distance what looks very much like the Nexus Spear. Mm-hmm. And you are heading towards it at pretty pretty good speed because the wind is facing exactly the way that you want it to go. Is there anything you guys would like to do in preparation before you reach the Nexus Spear as you get closer? I feel like I need to go someplace unseen to do this, mm-hmm. but I want to tell Stephen... I want to tell Stephen to go warn Nigel... Uh, well, well, yes, sir, or I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Well, please tell him that we're trying to get him not killed, but he does need to talk to his ex-wife, because leaving someone like that is very fucked up. I see, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. And that he needs to, as we say, face the music, but not in a terrible way, not oh, like God, I do. not the music. Not like that, not like, this is, that, you, it's just a figure of speech. I don't think we should make Nigel face the music. He's... Not that music, no, a figure of speech, figure of speech, it's I, fine. Un- understood, Aura. Okay, I'll, I'll fly off. I mean, I'm. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, g- goodbye. I'll, I'll, I'll come back as, uh, as soon as I found Nigel and. and yeah, well, and the crew as well. Warn the crew and tell them that we are going to do our best to not get anyone murdered. We are to take our ship back, and we are going to allow Nigel to have a nice, calm conversation with his extremely angry ex-wife. Okay. So uh, Stephen the parrot flies off, and you see him. He doesn't fly terribly quickly. Yeah, of course. He's just a parrot, so you probably won't get there for a while. Um, but yeah, then I will go outside. I'm kind of mad at our crew for listening to Nigel. <sighs> Honestly. Well, you can get an explanation from them, I suppose. Yeah, he so, could have lied. In Nigel's defense, he was trying to save the ship from Captain Dredd. That's true. That was yeah. his, that That's was his true. excuse. That's true. That's true. I forgot about that. You know, you, you, you go out there and you see it is indeed your ship. And it's getting bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, and you're getting a little bit closer to it. And you can uh, you can really make out the details of it now. You can see your major sail logo. Mm-hmm. Uh, flag, oh, it's a nice ship, isn't flag, it? Flag, yeah. Store dot. Which you can get mm-hmm. at dogfoodstudios.com <laughs> forward slash store. That's the one. That's that one, yeah. That's really going to put me on a fucking time <laughs> limit to get that up. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, and you see it. And it's, it's first it's facing away from you. And you see a glint. Of a of a, a telescope, mm-hmm. and it begins to turn broadside. So its broadside is facing you, mm. and then there is the roar of cannon fire, <sighs> as every cannon aboard the Nexus Spear fires upon you. It's what I said not to do. <laughs> and we will burden our souls. Oh no! Ship to ship, found it. With these secrets, next time. I'm going to squeeze Nigel so hard. <laughs> On Mage of Sam. I'm going to do something. His dumb little eyes are going to pop out. 
<laughs> and I'm going to describe it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying the show, please like, comment, uh, subscribe. Subscribing is good as well. And you can also just watch another one because by the time you're watching it, there might be another one because maybe you're watching it in the future. Or you could go back and watch one of the other ones. Those are good too. You could go and watch the ship to ship combat episode. That's a good one. Uh, whatever, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Just watch all of them would probably be the best. Uh, but at, at a rate that you're comfortable with, just 100% completion on Mage of Cell. That's all I ask. And I then, love listening while I'm cleaning. Yeah, just yeah. put in the headphones, let you them can go. Do that. I'm going yeah. to do a podcast version of it one day. Yeah. It's just that that's like, that's a bit of an ask to do. So I always put it off. You can do it on YouTube too. You know? If you really, uh, if you're really enjoying the show, uh, you could even try uh, pledging to us on Patreon, which is the best way to help support us. But either way, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Goodbye. Bones, bones, bones. A wizard's life for me. We sailed the mighty ocean to find the traitor sea. Bones, bones, bones. A wizard's life for me. We found the isles unconquered as they should ever be. Bones, bones, bones. A wizard's life for me. We sailed the mighty ocean to find the traitor sea. Bones, bones, bones. A wizard's life for me. We found the isles unconquered as they should ever be.